I fought in the first console war. I remember it just like it was yesterday. We're going through a new one right now between the X-Bone and PS4, but let me tell you something. I have never seen anything so bitterly disputed between armies of fanboys as back then between the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. Because nobody had both. You had to pick a side and stand by it. It was brother against brother. People died. People still argue about this today. We've still got poser critics making videos about which one's better. Losers. Anyway, yeah, I picked a side. You want to know what side I was on? Fuck you! That's my side! I'm a PC gamer, motherfuckers! That's why I'm showing you all this awesome Ultima shit that your dumb asses ain't never played before! Because it just so happens whenever I picked up a console game, it just so happened to be by you fucking Billy or Heroes of the Fucking Lance! Fuck this shit! I hate consoles! And that's why I'm so fucking pissed off right now, because now I find out there's a bunch of Ultima games on the Super Nintendo, and I don't want to fucking play them! First, you got Ultima 6, which is basically a straight-up port of the PC game. So if you want to know if it's any good, all you gotta do is think about playing the PC version, then imagine replacing the mouse and keyboard with a fucking D-pad. It sucks. No more hotkeys, no more clicking and dragging, everything. Everything is done through the menus, one fucking tap at a time. Oh, it takes forever to do anything in this game. Just looking at this shelf of potions makes me cringe. I gotta go and pick up each and every one of these individually by stepping up next to it and going through the same menu and moving the cursor step by step over the icon and picking it up. Do I want this? 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 Do I get to pick where it goes? No! Now I get to shuffle my fucking inventory! Oh, no, correction. Now I get to shuffle about five of my companion's inventories with a Super Nintendo controller! This interface adds days to the gameplay. And to think I complained about the PC interface before. Jesus Christ! And then there's Ultima 7, and oh man, I was afraid of this one. Remember having the backpacks full of beef jerky and coins and tons of other random crap? My god, even with a mouse, this game was an organizational nightmare. Can you imagine trying to find that one magic ring and all this junk with a Super Nintendo controller? It'd be like trying to wipe your ass with a squeegee. Well, it's not like that at all. Here it's the complete opposite interface from Ultima 6. Here they basically just dump all of the RPG elements aside from looting the container that's right in front of you. It's certainly not slow anymore. Combat in Ultima 6 was turn-based. Here, it's in real time. You just sort of run up to what's over there and mash the attack button until the bad thing is bullshit! Dynamite! The gremlins have Lady! You have fucking gremlins with dynamite in your basement! Oh, that's... Great. The Avatar, the Slayer of Exodus, is one hit by a gremlin. Fuck you! And the Avatar's got this funny little flailing motion when he attacks. He swings like a nerd. I love it. Ooh. As you can tell, the game is completely stripped down from the PC version. I guess they figured the only way to translate the game to a console is to trim everything out until all they were left with is a sloppy, button-mashy- BULLSHIT! Oh, that was bullshit! The fuck was that?! Oh, great, it's a spider. Yeah, good. The Avatar's dead and the world is now doomed because of a fucking spider. There's barely even a story in this game since they made it completely linear. There's no exploration or open world. We're just left with this Zelda-ish game with sloppy controls and absolutely no balls. They took out all the blood and gore! Remember that dismembered body? Remember that dude fucking pitchfork to the wall? It's gone. You just hear about it secondhand. You don't even have any companions anymore. They want nothing to do with you. And why would they? This game sucks. The only entertainment I found was in beating sheep to death with my bare hands. Just punch them right in the fucking face. No, I can whip a horse to death so hard a chicken comes out. I just beat a chicken out of a horse's ass. Yeah, there's no moral consequences in this game. They took that out for space. Just whip some sheep to death. Who gives a shit? Oh, oh, I take it back. It does punish you for being evil. Be good or you get more jokes. You can see both extremes here. This one lurches along like a clockwork turd because they tried to keep everything in, and this one becomes a completely different type of game with bad controls and worse hit detection because they ripped everything out. So that's when they decided to try something new and design an Ultima game specifically for the consoles. Ultima Runes of Virtue. Hey, you, you guys smell that? Smells like something that starts with a B and ends in trail. Okay, so first is character selection, but wait, none of these people are the Avatar. These people are all companions of the Avatar. These, I think so. The names are there. Shamino, Yolo, Dupre. 
What's what's with the faces? They're not even close. And who the fuck is this? YOLO! It looks like Grant Imahara from Mythbusters. No, you know what? It looks like Ralph Macchio. What the fuck is going on here? It says you're playing the Avatar in this game, but I'm not the Avatar, it's the Karate Kid. That is so not what YOLO looks like. It's just... And he's the worst character, too. You can compare their starting abilities and equipment here. Like, Dupre has the most health, but low magic, and he starts with a sword and armor. Okay, whereas YOLO is a complete pussy, and he starts with a bow and a hamburger. He starts with a fucking hamburger. Yeah. Mariah gets a wand of fireballs, YOLO gets a Big Mac. I haven't even started playing yet and I'm pissed off. This game's already completely shit the bed. What is up with the hamburger? Jesus Christ. Okay, so we've got a Black Knight as the villain here. Kind of a step down from the immortal mundane and unbeatable guardian, know what I'm saying? I'm bored. I've not had fun since I last terrorized Britannia. I know! I shall kidnap Lord Tholden. That should really annoy Lord British. Of course! I'm bored! I haven't had any fun since I last terrorized the world! But I know! I will kidnap Suzette Kimball, acting director of the United States Geological Survey! Oh, that'll really annoy President Obama! <laughs> He then summons a moon gate right there, which is impossible, and appears right in the poor guy's home, which is impossible because moon gates do not work this way in Ultima. They open at fixed points at specific phases of the, you know, moons because, oh, like they cared. The Black Knight's primary henchmen are trolls who don't exactly instill much terror in his enemies. Perhaps they might be more intimidating if he gave them more destructive weapons than fucking boomerangs. So he brings the guy back to his room, which has a secret door leading to a prison cell next to it. I guess... Oh, whoa. Whoa, hang on. Oh my god. Wait, stop, please. You remember in that one time in Final Fantasy XIII where I started talking about the robes, like I completely obsessed over it? And I, I, I tried to explain it as best I could, but it was like... But it's like, in ten seconds, I had like ten minutes of thoughts. I, I, I don't know, it's, it, it's like when my brain sees something that's wrong, it devotes all of its runtime to its solution, and... In that span of time, it's like time dilates, and I just have all these thoughts, and it it just happened. Okay, these are pretty much my exact thoughts, in order, in the ten seconds it took for this scene to play out. No joke. Why does he have three pictures of the same guy on the wall of his room? Wait, that, is that Lord Tholden? What the fuck it is? is? Is he obsessed with this guy? He's got pictures of this guy plastered all over the wall of his room, and now he's taking him down in the dungeon, and oh my god, he's gonna bring out the gimp. And there's his coat of arms on the wall with the feminine symbol inside of it. What? Why? It's not an Ankh. It doesn't look like one. Why would he have an Ankh if he's evil? It looks like the symbol for women. Holy shit, if I just take a step back and look at the big picture, I'm picking up a lot of weird symbolism here. Like, this entire room is the inside of the Black Knight's mind. His inner desires lay bare on the walls. Okay, you've got the Black Knight here, his sigil, his icon. And we can see he wants to be surrounded, embraced by this guy. The shield and armor project evil, strength, and menace, but inside he's... a woman? Why is there a full-length mirror with a chair in front of it right in the middle of the room? Who, who does that? Why would you... There's nothing else there. There's just a chair and a mirror, so what? He goes to the middle of the room and... Oh my god, no. No, this can't be happening. What? Don't you get it? The bedroom dungeon, his unfulfilled sexual desires, his frustration at his gender identity, a full-length mirror and a chair for modeling and tailoring. He's making a woman suit! Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. don't even want to know what it's like watching a Chuck Norris movie. It's like being stuck in the limbo world of Inception. So yeah, Nystel tells Lord British about the kidnapping and he's all, we must summon the Avatar to rescue him. And I mean, really? 
You're gonna call me for every goddamn thing that goes wrong in Britannia. So he summons the moon gate and I appear immediately. Just fucking immediately. But what if I was in the shower, dude? And that's if he was lucky. You don't want to know what I'd probably be doing. But come on, man! This isn't the Avatar! Hello? I'm the Avatar! Bro, we've met! I pulled your dumbass out of the abyss! Unbelievable! Nobody recognizes me! Lord British doesn't recognize me! Uh-huh, yeah. I see how it is. That's some cold shit there, man! As usual, the first thing I do in any Ultima game is run around the castle looking for shit to steal, but in this case, there's nothing. And no, you can't kill fucking Chuckles. Believe me, I tried. A lot. Although, you can fire off the cannons, which accomplishes nothing. Well, I guess it murders dozens of villagers surrounding the castle, who must be pissing themselves in terror and confusion right now. That's Sherry the Mouse? She's like six feet tall! She's bigger than you are! In every other game, she's... well, she's a fucking mouse! In Ultima 6, you can literally put her in your pocket. When did she get exposed to radioactive ooze and become this grotesque mutant? Gah! Hey, cool! He's selling plate mail! Well, hell yes, I'll take it! Even though in my inventory, it's clearly chain mail! What kind of witless fart breather makes this kind of mistake? Oh, and Lyceum is spelled with an A in the Ultima games, dickheads. And by the way, real handy to have a sign reading Welcome to the Lyceum in the back of the Lyceum! You've just gotta love the sewers of Castle Britain, which are crawling with giant predatory rats and man-sized fucking cobras. And this is like the instant you set foot off the ladder. You'd think Lord British would send a couple of guys down here every few days to try and keep the giant fucking serpent population to a minimum. He's let it go way too long. At this point, you need to mobilize the regular army. And when when you kill them, the cobras explode. Hell, everything explodes when you kill them. God damn. Whoa! There's a room full of lava, man! This is in the sewers, under the castle! Someone should tell British about the active magma flow right under his throat. You know what? Fuck him. And yep, just like you'd expect the Avatar to go out, I get killed by a fucking rat. Wait a minute, was it? Or was it one of the bats? Pretty sure it was a rat, but no, look, it didn't hit me. It was moving away from me, and it wasn't even near me when I took the hit. What the fuck hit me? And this happens the entire game. I can never tell how I'm getting hit. And the big reason for that is I can't tell when I'm getting hit. There aren't any visual indicators like my character flashing or anything. There's no sound effects of any kind. It's completely nuts. It's completely unpredictable. Look at this. That should have hit. That should have hit. That definitely should have hit. Sometimes I can just run straight through entire mobs. I have no fucking clue how I survived that. I have no idea when I'm in trouble of dying. There's no flashing screen or sound effect of any kind. You always have to be actively watching your health meter. Oh yeah, and long story short, the sewer, basically pointless. The town of Britain now consists of literally three buildings. The Mayor's House, a store that sells three hamburgers for $15 each, and a building that kind of looks like a store, but probably isn't because all it has inside is a piano and a guy behind the counter by the name of Gnu Gnu who doesn't actually sell anything. That's it. Lord British must tax the shit out of Britain's three tax-paying citizens if the burgers are that expensive. Hi there! Want a rice to my food shop? Last one there's a rotten egg! The fuck he used a teleporter? That cheating son of a bitch! I swear to god, if I ever play Ultima 7 again, I'm gonna track him down so I can go to the Forge of Virtue, take the dark core of Exodus, and send it to the void straight up this cocksucker's cheating ass! Who builds a teleporter to cheat at something this fucking petty? Fuck this guy! Pisses me off! Ah, oh, fuck it. Fuck that guy! What the fuck is the giant sea oars doing out there? Fuck that thing, too! Get the fuck out of here, sea oars! Oh, holy shit, it brings lightning! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Ah! What the fuck was that? It's a fucking seahorse! What the fuck is it doing breathing fucking like- No! Uh-uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not gonna go down that way, okay? Fuck that! Fuck seahorses! I am not living in fear of goddamn seahorses! Cheating shit, Whistler. Seahorses breathe like Yeah, I knew that. You wanna try that again, Sea Biscuit? Cause you just made it shit. Gah! Okay, that's it. Piss now. You just called down the thunder, you son of- Ow!
God damn it! Do you see how much health that takes off in one hit? It's like half my fucking balls! Fuck! You motherfucker! I am gonna fuck you angry! I'm gonna eat your ass with tartar sauce and those cheesy fucking garlic biscuits I got a red love shit, you dick minstrel! Fine. You know what? Fine. You win this round, seahorses. You're real tough. Real badass. Okay, so laugh it up. But you know what? Humanity always wins in the end. Because you know why? Next coral reef I see, I'm going to pollute the fuck out of it. So choke on these nuts. This is literally the first monster you encounter when you set foot outside the fucking castle. A fucking seahorse that apparently has Godzilla's atomic breath. I mean, what the fuck? There haven't even been any seahorse monsters in the Ultima games until now. What do we have? Oh, we had fucking sea serpents. Oh, but that's just fucking stupid. We had giant squids. Yeah, we could release the Kraken or, you know, seahorses. Oh, and dragon turtles that already breathe fire. Yeah, I would believe Gamera kicking my ass. Gamera has already been established. But you know what the real joke is? I think it's the only monster in the entire game that doesn't even attack you. Until you attack it, of course. And when you do, it brings the wrath of God down upon you. But you've just started the game. It's a monster. So of course you're going to attack it because it's there. And it's a fucking seahorse. Who gives a shit? The biggest they ever get is 14 inches. And then this happens. Just why seahorses? Why? You couldn't think of anything less intimidating like sea otters? Except they're vampires with heat vision and acid for blood? I, I can't even... Ah, oh, great. Now I've got seahorses. It's just gonna sit there, isn't it? Shitting all over the floor. Well, I have to kill it. I mean, we both know where this is going, yeah, but do you want seahorses in your house? Oh! Whoa! Anti-climax for the win! Carpet's fucked. Don't care! That was awesome! Oh, shit! to be snakes. Ugh. So, the avatar returns and dares to insult me. To challenge my honor before the very world. Very well. Test me and I shall have him. I shall summon my trolls. I shall find this. Avatar, and when I do, I shall have him annoyed. Permanently. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs>